It's no, time for the annual holiday coconut. dilemma. How do you tip? How much do you tip? How do you give? It drives people nuts. Uh, Ray Martin is here with some advice hey, this morning. Hey, How hey, are you? Hey, Merry good. Christmas. And it was the mango coconut shampoo. Oh, okay, okay. very good. I just want you to know. Just to set the record straight. <laughs> That's right. uh, are there rules yeah. of thumb when it comes to tipping this time of year? Well, you know, you, tipping is the ultimate gesture of thanks for people who served you reliably and faithfully mm -hmm. all year long. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to think about people and thank them uh, who have been there to make your life better, easier, or safer in some way. Right. You want to do what's appropriate, but you don't want to break the bank doing it. Okay. Let, we're going to put a list up of people who are potential yeah. tip receivees and guidelines uh, on how much you should pay. That would be tip ease, right? Mm -hmm. this, this is all from the ultimate uh, authority on uh, thanks, manners, and tipping from Emily Post Institute. The babysitter, you might tip a night's pay and a small gift from your children to, mm. to make it oh, personal. Okay. Yeah. House cleaner, up up to a week's pay. Superintendent, if you live in a high-rise building, $20 to $80. Doorman in a high-rise building, $15 to $80. Trash collector, you know, mm -hmm. hey, look, they all year long, that's a yeah. valuable service, like yeah. 10 to $30. Newspaper delivery person, 10 to $30. Dog walker, if you have a dog walker, up right. to a week's pay. Teacher, you know, small gift or a collection from parents, but no cash. You can't here. do that anymore. You know? Right. Yeah, so those are some things to think of. And these are just guidelines. Mm -hmm. If you live in a metropolitan area, it may right. be more or maybe less. It can add what, up to know. serious dough, though. You know, you know, you think about that dog walker, house cleaner, you know, per, it could be a few hundred dollars here. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't over tip people because you think other people aren't providing them tips, okay? Right. And in a high rise building, I hear people in New York or Los Angeles can tip three to $400. Yeah. I mean, you gotta be careful here and plan for this. Everybody's keeping their mm. holiday spending within limits, so be uh, careful here. All right, if you know that you have serious <clears throat> restrictions on the amount of cash you can hand yeah. out, what kind of alternatives might you come up with? Well, you know, cash is always king when you give tips, but some people it's not appropriate to give cash mm. at all. You, you wouldn't give cash uh, to uh, 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 a mail carrier because it's illegal for them to accept right, cash or right. gift cards or mm -hmm. even government employees. You wouldn't give cash to a teacher. Instead, you take up a collection with the parents and maybe they give them a gift card to Borders or a bookstore okay. or Office Max right. or Staples for art su or mm -hmm. supplies for yeah. the school classroom, that kind of thing. Yeah. Those are some things to think about. Okay. Uh, what about people you want to leave off your tip? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't tip everybody here. I mean, uh, you wouldn't tip the owner of a business. I mean, patronizing their business all year long, giving them your business is thanks enough. Instead, mm -hmm. you might direct a tip to a most deserving employee. You would not tip professional service providers like accountants, uh, lawyers, or financial advisors. It's also you know, not appropriate <laughs> for them to receive those tips. It's not within ethical standards of practice either. Okay, okay? That's, I like that. <laughs> right. here's Happily the, to leave the lawyer off here's, the list. Right? Here's yeah. the dilemma, though. People yeah. get caught up yeah. in this. There's yeah. a certain amount of guilt also that goes along yeah. with, geez, I really need to do this. And yeah. You're looking at this list. And especially if you live in a city, it gets pretty long. Yeah. You can be too generous. Well, you know, you, what you don't want to do here is uh, you don't want to go into debt by tipping or deplete your emergency funds here. An alternative instead is cut back on your personal spending on the holiday, can mm -hmm. free up some cash for tips. Right. Or if that's not the case, give the, give the gift of kind words. Write a letter to somebody of thanks, or even better yet, a letter to their employer saying uh. they've been great for me and that you should really hang on to them mm -hmm. in these tough economic times because they're the reason why I'm coming to you. Okay. Okay, that's one thing. And also, you know, when, when your financial situation improves, you can tip later in the year. Yeah. Tips received anytime, even if they're later, we're always appreciated. Very yeah. good, very good. Yeah. You've done a nice job. Right? <laughs> Tips on tipping. How about, right. But Harry, you know, I love you, man. I don't know if I'm going to tip you, but thank you for all year. It's been great. <laughs> very good. <laughs>